Good morning. We begin with that issue that Congress has kicked down the road for years. Immigration reform. Lawmakers now addressing it after President Trump separated more than 2300 children from moms and dads who entered the country illegally. Congressman Pete Sessions is our guest in D.C. this morning where he has uh, already introduced legislation to address some of this. He is the chairman of the House Rules Committee and joining the questioning as always is Bud Kennedy of the Star Telegram. Good morning to you, Congressman. Morning, Jason. Morning, Pete. Good morning. Good morning, bud. Let's talk about what's happening there in D.C. A hardline bill failed the House last week. You have your own bill on the floor. How is it different and will you have the votes to get it passed? Jason, thank you very much. As you know, it was an unprecedented uh, group of people, some 60,000 people that approached the border. Uh, there were over 12,000 children. Uh, there has been a great deal of information about this group of people coming at one time to present themselves at the border. Never really happened this way before. We've had children that came up and that was dealt with by the Obama administration. Of the some 12,000 children, 10,000 did not come with their parents. And sorting out 12,000 children to get to the 2,300 with their parents has been a task that was placed upon uh, the uh, administration, but really upon the men and women who work for uh, the United States T of America at the border. Yeah, t tell it is a problem. And the tell laws us, Congressman, that are though, how, how, this, you, how you're going to introduce legislation to address this. What, what specifically do you have that's different? Well, yes. That what. So what happens is is that the administration is working off of a series of court orders and other administrative procedures. We would like to simplify that into a law that this Congress right now understands that we would give to the administration and the American people, and it does a number of things that simplify what they're doing. It says that you will not separate these families, but they have to go through a process to determine who is and who is not in that family, and we give more judges that are available, and it could be implemented immediately if we could find a way to get it through the House, through the Senate, and have the President sign it. We've been working with the administration on the bill. It is a brand new big issue, and I'm hoping that as quickly as Congress understands the bill, we'll be able to move forward to help. That's, that's not my, just the American people, but all these families that are seeking this help. And, and Chairman Sessions, that's my next question. Are there votes in the House for your legislation? And secondly, you have to get it to the Senate if you can pass it to the House. Are there votes in the Senate? You need the Democrats to help get it passed. In fact, we do. Uh, and this is where it's trying to be a common sense approach whereby we answer the question that says you shall not separate people. You shall work with a family as they are, but you need to be do it, need to do it in an expedited basis. And this is where it's going to require the United States to undertake a quick and swift change giving them one law that they can operate off of instead of uh, court rulings and administrative procedure makes that easier. And yes, sir, I hope we will have uh, a debate. We will have changes if they're necessary, but we can get this done. Chairman, let's talk about, uh, get away from illegal and illegal and talk about more or less. You've said in the past that you support uh, reasonable, controlled immigration to the country. The president's actually said he wants to cut the number of legal immigrants allowed. Where do you stand now? Are you for more or less people coming to America? Good question, Bud. The facts of the case are we take in about a million people legally in this country. Most of those people are through a lottery process. I am for changing that lottery process that it's a guess to one where we get the kind of workers that are called skilled workers, where skilled workers will come as a preference to the United States. I am for that. That's what the president's for. But legal and illegal immigration are separate topics. The president is aware that we've got to change our system to where we bring in people who are not only skilled, but that we effectively understand who is coming in this country and our poorest borders need to be addressed. So I think that's what Republicans, unfortunately, by themselves are trying to do this week in Washington with no help uh, on this DACA issue from our friends that are Democrats. You said this week, uh, I mean, you said just now you want more judges. The president made fun of that. He said, ah, oh, more judges, what'll that do? 
I heard you make a comparison to the president moving on this, and it was like going uh, going to a bar fight without your team or something like that. Would you uh, would you uh, would you say the president wasn't in line with you on this? No, I don't think that's the point. I think I think what the president effectively understands is this new piece of legislation will bring the one law as opposed to uh, judicial rulings and administrative procedures. We have to deal with this issue. It is going to take rule of law and a great number of judges, so that is what we're going to add. I think the president may or may not have his own opinion about this, but the Congress has to help him solve the problem, and I think he will be with us on this issue. Chairman, I want to switch topics on you real quick and ask you about something else here, too. There are reports of merging the Departments of Education and the Department of Labor. Is that a s issue you support or oppose? Well, it's not been uh, anything that has come to a proposition where we've hold, held hearings on this. I think the Department of Education uh, is, is a wise investment for us. I, it would look differently under my own ideas. Uh, I think it's probably top-heavy. I think it is seen as an impediment to solving problems, and I think that as the president does offer a reevaluation uh, this this next January of how he'd like to merge those departments, we need to look at it. But uh, I am for the Department of Education soundly standing on behalf of understanding the yeah. educational opportunities and impediments and making sure they give good guidance to the states so states can make decisions, not the federal government.